Don't pinch him in. Calm down. Get off me, please. Thank you. This isn't as crowded as that other beach anyway.
Oh, we've got a pier. That, this is the way to the castle pier. The chateau. Midday snap. But too busy playing your games, boy. Well, well, you said you were bringing it. Did you take it out? Yeah, because I've put a big cold one in the car. Well, Dad, you said you would bring it. Hey. Right, we're going to go up then. Yeah. I've put balls in it now. I thought there was always a prison. No, 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 no. I think they would have had buildings put against this wall. That's where bits of wood might have gone in. And the wall stood fine. And down there, look, you can see down there, it's, that's where it's. See it's folks on the whatever side the left hand side you can see Santa Mac and they're not interested in girls anymore okay <laughs> Later on. 
lady on our boat from Holland took a picture which was syndicated around the world and she has paid over 500,000 euros for the syndication rights for those pictures. <laughs> Come on, Basil brushes more rights there than Charles, eh? So, we're going to see that once in a few minutes. Thank you. Don't. The house. Remember, Hamid El Fayad will not step foot inside since the death of his son. It's only for his guests. He will stay on his boat when he comes in August. He will stay on a boat called the Sakura, which is worth $37 million of silver. He keeps on doing it. I've told him five times. The Beckhams also stayed over there five or six years ago, just when they had the two boys, Brooklyn and Romeo. And they uh, stayed there for five weeks. And when she left, long time, a lot of things have happened. How old are you, young man? Nine, you weren't even born, were you? Did you see Donnie fly out in your eyes? No. No. <laughs> One of those palm trees was imported from Tunisia at a cost of 11,000 euros each. Who owns the house? Mercedes-Benz. It's for their stressed out executives to come to this part of the world and just chill out. There you go. Now, if you come back towards us, can you see the big house on top of the hill with a white awning, terracotta tiles on its roof, and blue shutters? It's between the point and the White House, in between, high on the hill. You got that one? You haven't got that one? If you look at the point, come back a little bit, look high. See the big house with the white sunshade? Stone, no, you're too far away. No, you're too far away. Over here. It's got a red tile roof, and a stone wall, and blue shutters. That house belongs to a company from Switzerland. I'll show it again on this side, don't worry. They're called Rolex. Yeah, right, coming up, folks. Remember, if you're standing up on the left-hand side, the people behind you cannot see. Okay, so if you try and get a seat, if you stay down on your seat, people behind you can get a nice view. The house coming up with a square garage door belongs to Mohammed El Fayad. And just a little steps at the side is where Diana had her last photograph taken of the two children. Can you see the house coming up with a stone wall, 
and a big greeny brown gate in the wall. And if you look in the garden, it looks like it's got a little castle. You see the one? You see the white house behind there? That house used to belong to the real Queen of England, Sir Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> he sold up, he moved to the Cap de Antibes. The house was bought three summers ago by Christian Dior, a fashion company from Paris. Coming up at the point we're heading for is a house with orange tiles and lots of little archways. Sadly, the owner of that house died two summers ago. His name, Sasha Destel. Raindrops keep falling on my head. You know the song? He had a great life. He had a different young lady or starlet stay over there for the last 17 years of his life. Every summer it changed. And in 1990, one passed through there for seven months. Her name was Vanessa Paradis. Now what was that beautiful young girl doing with that old singer? Well, he was extremely lucky because she was on the rebound from a failed marriage. She was married to the French actor Gérard Depardieu, Serrano de Bergerac. They were married for exactly 44 days. And it said in the newspaper they had their marriage annulled by the Fatigan because they weren't compatible. Three archways, three stories tall. It also has a complete seafront or a beachfront, a private harbour. And when we get level with the house, if you look directly behind, you can see three other villas, all part of the same property. It's worth $38 million. Who owns it? The Heineken family from Holland. It used to be Freddie Jr.'s place, but he's no longer alive. It's passed along to her daughter, or his daughter. What a date. And she's got a flat head. Just remember, folks, every time you buy a bottle of Heine, you're paying for a toilet roll over there. <laughs> It's a bed. I reckon they're cold. <laughs> <laughs> now it's away now. The house behind there belongs to Michel Platini. FIFA. The guy who organizes the World Cup stuff you can play for France. And coming up folks is Bridget Bardot's house. If you look slightly in front of us, you can see a house with a long beige wall. It's got a little jetty with two white pillars sticking up at the end of the jetty. And coming up, you can see on the house, it's got a blue awning. That house is called the Madrag. It's been Bridget Bardo's home since 1956. She's now in her 75th year. Has anyone seen her lately? Looks like a bear's bum. <laughs> Looks like Napoleon Dynamite's llama. <laughs> jetty outside the front of it where he can get his boat into and all the parasols. <laughs> and that's where George Michael spent many summers. That's where Jerry Halliwell came when she was the first girl to split up from the Spice Girls. She came to stay with George at Good Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right across here, it's the one with one parasol up, one parasol down, his and his. <laughs> <laughs> Seven million dollars sold for. To the right hand side of the twin palm tree, you can right. see a flagpole. Yeah. To the right hand side of the flagpole yes. is a house with a semicircle window yes. covered in ivy. I want everybody who can hear me to wave at that house because we're being looked at by a U.S. Marine sniper. <laughs> <laughs> that house is a diplomatic house. It's for all the famous people who come in this part of the world. On the okay. film director, her name is Katherine Schneider. His name was Roger Baden. And Roger Baden is the guy who discovered Bridget Bardot. On the beach, in the corner, is where Bridget Bardot got discovered by the director, Roger Baden. Put her in a film, and God created woman. Made her a star. He also made the film Barbarella starring Jane Fonda, whom he also married. He married Catherine de Nerve as well, and four other super-looking women. This guy was one meter 62 tall. But rumor had it, girls, when he stood on his wallet, he was as tall as anyone else. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
that was Millionaire's Bay seen through the eyes of someone just a little bit deranged. Tests, and one of those tests is you've got to be born in Saint Tropez. The second test, you've got to have a heart attack or hit by a car and die in Saint Tropez. And the third test, you've got to die on a boat passing Saint Tropez. So you guys qualify for two of those tests. So we'll get you buried up there if anything happens to you, okay? Are you waving at dead people? Yeah, yeah. I can see dead people. Oh my god. Whoa! Maybe. She's dead. No, she's not. <laughs> she looks dead. Right, there's the photograph opportunity, folks. What a wonderful sight. Santa Pays, it used to look all those years ago. If you just wait a few minutes for a machine gun the beach, get rid of those people walking there. <laughs> There's the seawall of Saint Tropez, the best views for the fireworks tonight. Don't you clear off, will you? So safe, isn't it? I can't see more of them. A snake? Did he touch it? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. Where is the ponta? Where is the ponta, Anastasia? Where is the ponta? Where is the ponta, Anastasia? Come on, Gila. Where is the ponta? Benjamin! <laughs> Hello!
Hey, we should have paid to get in that. So the prices as I walked out. Should have paid her. She never said. I know, I think it's because we never spoke French that it confused her. What what has happened? Yesterday we should have paid that castle we went into. Why? She why? Because there was a lot on there, wasn't there, to see for free. Yeah. Nice tower. Some book, I'm sure. It's one of the islands has got, that's one of the ones he was saying to visit, has got like a castle on it, and it's where the man in the iron mask was oh, kept. Yeah. I don't think it's those islands. The, the ones that is small, I'm sure it's off my. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, the crosses. The two crosses. I 
Als je nou zo terugkijkt, dan denk je van, uh, ik zie die man die staan niet net zo. En kun je een job job Ja, maar die man zwemt bij die vissen. Ja, dan zit hij bruine plek. Dat is goed, to invite you. Nou, deze kleine, dus ik denk niet, die is echt wel nog. It's very high. Oh my god. Yeah, when we get to the water. No, I take a picture here. The I can take a picture here. Right, you jump in then. Go on.
Nou zie ik hem niet meer. En nu zie ik hem niet meer. Oké, okay, we gaan even achteruit drinken. Even nog zo spetteren. En daar ligt die Jessica ligt bij jou. En nu? Recht onder me. Ja. Ligt hij er hier? Ik kan, ik kan me meteen op de bodem maken. Ja, ik zie hem liggen. Maar niet in zo'n beweging, want er ligt zand overheen. Waar ligt hij dan hier? Wij zijn hem bij u voeten. Huh? Nee. Oh. Naar rechts een beetje. Wat rechts? Oh, wat rechts? Nu zie ik hem niet. Ja. Ja. Ik kijk nog eens even goed. Ja, ik zie het niet, want die buis ligt ervoor. Ja. Ik zie het niet meer. Jullie maken te veel zand. Schrik even. Ja, ga weg. Oké, okay, ik ga nog even een keer weg. En nu blijf ik de volgende keer bij het op rijden. Dan maak ik geen zand. Ik zie hem nu. Ik zie niks. Daar ligt hij volgens mij. Zie je hem nu? Rinke, rinke, rinke. Wat moet hij? Hij moet afblijven. Oké, mooi. Is hij met zijn glasses op? Nee, ik zie hem. Oh mijn god. Weet je wat hij is? No, but they're probably in there somewhere, aren't they? Well, they put them on the toilet, didn't they? Did you? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah.
One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's a new record. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Apparently there were loads of pillars here all the way along and they're the only two left and they're called the two two widows those. There's be pillars all the way along there. You can see they've all got rubbed off and taken out all those bits of stone everywhere here. There's nothing left to this side. There's two towers, and originally there would have been a hundred. And this would have been, if we we're entering the first tunnels now, there would have been another t two tiers above us. Hold on, this. Let's go to the top then, Benji. Last one going to here. No. Nope. 
here.